So let's start with the wallet. So what I'll show you, I'm assuming people have used the wallet uh, extension before. And I'm also assuming you guys use the Chrome version, meaning the Chrome Store version rather. So what I'll show now is an internal build that is connected to GA. Okay. So uh, for example, it's GA that's labeled as QA, meaning we are running our GA internally. Okay, so this is an example of the new build that we are working on. I'll show how the transfer transactions work. So I'll switch to a wallet with balance. I'll copy the address of this wallet that doesn't have a balance. So history, which account two, wallet, I'll paste the address, enter, let's say 10 tokens, native. If you can notice, it's 100,269. I'll transfer. Okay, I'll switch back to the other account. If, show, if, if, oh, if you could just hold up for a second, Mike, oh, and go okay. back to the go wallet. Ahead. For those of you who might be scratching your head saying, well, wait a second, so like it is one wallet, but we're like sending balances between them, right? What happens is from, from one private key, we, uh, we derive two public addresses or account types, right? One is the native substrate account type. The, and those addresses over here start with five. And then EVM addresses, right? Basically, you know, like start with a, you know, OX, that, 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 that's a hex, right? So over here, that basically means from one private key, you get two accounts and you need to send stuff between the two of them. So this is what Mike is demonstrating. I apologize, buddy, go ahead, back to you. Yeah, so let's move, let's shift to the other account. Let's just set the tokens to. So it's now five, sorry, 10, right? So we can then swap, meaning from native to EVM. So let's say five, so sorry, swap, and five native to EVM, swap, yeah. So a bit, there, you can swap, uh, see the swap transaction happen. Then let's move on to having the swap transactions visible in the Explorer. Copy the transaction ID, you open the Explorer. So let's say here. So this is also an internal version. Since we're running GA, the transactions are not visible in Beta Testnet Explorer. Let's see here, it's five, five. The transaction, uh, the swap amount. Then we can also shift to check the transfer transaction. See. Yeah. Mind you, just to keep it simple, to focus on, we're only displaying the outbound transactions because okay. otherwise, you know, that would be just a complete mess to navigate through. Yeah. So in this case, we can show the transaction, the transfer transaction from one wallet to the other. If you remember the 10 fire that I sent. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Next one is we'll go through the uh this access the secrets of the wallet so there are two options when when accessing or manipulating accounts uh in the fire wallet extension one is you can import an already existing wallet oh uh yes lucas just one thing that i wanted to say mind you that you got to be very 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 cautious when it comes to revealing the secrets because those are secrets so ideally when you need to do that, you know, when you have your hot wallet, right, or that you have in your browser extension, the best thing you should do, at least, is disable, disconnect from the internet, just in case you got some spyware recording your screen, right? So just letting you guys know. Correct. So uh, continuing, uh, there are two options to, to access wallets from the using the wallet, Fire Wallet extension. One is creating a wallet directly from the app. The other is importing an already, I guess, being used wallet. In this case, if it's an imported wallet, you can see it says imported. Then this one is uh, created from, from the app. Okay, so I will uh, display the secrets. It's fine. This is a test wallet. I won't share the one with 100,000 tokens. <laughs> uh, so reveal the secrets. Let me copy my password. Copy the password. There. I mean, you can show it. It's fine. Can, you can access my five tokens. 
Yeah, I really love the blue, honestly. It's like one of my favorite things in this wallet extension. 